Hello everyone, welcome to day 27 of January day 2 challenge and today's question is concatenation of consecutive binary numbers. In this question, you are given an integer n and you need to generate a new number uh, by con that is formed by concatenating the binary representation of all the numbers starting from 1 up to n. Also, you need to keep in mind while you are calculating this new number, you need to do the modulus of 10 raised to the power 9 plus 1 uh, during the generation of the new number from the new string that has been created by concatenation of the binary representation of numbers from 1 to n. Uh, I quickly said that. Uh, let's walk through one of the examples. In this case, n is uh, specified as 3. Uh, what you do, uh, uh, you uh, start an i loop starting from 1 till n and generate the binary representation of all those numbers. So for 1 is 1, for 2 is 1, 0, for 3 is double 1 and you can concatenate uh, all, the, all these strings. So the new number that is formed, uh, the new string that is formed by the concatenation is double 1, 0, 1, 1. And what you need to do, you need to generate the new binary representation, uh, uh, the new number using this binary representation. So first you are, that there, there is a two-way process. First you are converting a number into its binary representation and the other way is, uh, the other part of the question is, you need to convert the binary represented number into a decimal format, which represents 27 and you have to do this. So let's quickly walk through the algorithm that I have created. Let me just start the slideshow and let me just take a pen here. Red looks fine. So uh, as the question stated, n is 3. Uh, how many numbers do we need to incorporate? 1 till 3. What is the binary representation of the numbers? Well, 1 is 1, 2 is uh, 1, 0 and 3 is 1, 1. Uh, if you concatenate uh, all these numbers starting from 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, this is what the new binary representation is and now do the reversal. So first part is uh, decimal to binary, decimal to binary and the other part is from this binary representation you generate the number, the decimal number. How do you do that? Starting from the uh, starting index 0, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you keep on multiplying it with the power of 2. Uh, since that was the binary representation, the power will be 2 here. Uh, the power uh, the power of 2 will be used uh, so 2 raised to into 2 raised to power 0 plus 1 plus 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 plus 2 in 2, 2 raised to power 2 plus z, uh, into 0 so you keep on adding this so what you get 2 raised to power 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1 uh, 2 raised to power 1 is into 1 is 2 2 raised to power 2 is 4 in, into 0 is 0 2 raised to power 3 is 8, 8 into 1 is 8 and 2 raised to power of 4 is 16 into 1 is 16. So if you add all these numbers, uh, 16 plus 8 is 24, 24 plus 2 is uh, 26, 26 plus 1 is 27. So the new number is 27. And we will do exactly the same steps as I told. So let's jump on to the coding part. Let's define a variable mod. Uh, we need during the uh, generation process from binary to decimal we need to uh, every time when we are adding and multiplying it we need to perform the modular operation 2 raised to power 10 raised to power 9 plus 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this looks fine and let me just take a variable for my answer or new number let's say it's new number equals to equals to 0 and let's start with the iteration from i equals to 1 till i equals to n i plus plus what do we need to do we need to generate the binary representation of i so i'll be using a method here integer to binary and uh, that will give me a string a binary string so you can write your own method for this i'm using an inbuilt java method so binary let's just call binary rep of that number of i and uh, also let's i need a, a multiplying factor of 2 so let's start with factor equals to 0 and let's for each character in that binary rep 2 char array pretty simple and what I'm doing is I'm generating the number now how uh, if 
integer value equals to if c equals to 0 value will be 0 otherwise value will be 1 so let us read forward because there are only there are two only two possibilities and once you have this val what you will do new number equals to new number into 2 modulo mod plus val and modulo in the end ideally we don't need this factor because we are every time we are multiplying it by two our, ourselves so return the new number let's try this up looks good accepted the only tricky part in this algorithm is this logic where new nums equals to new nums into two mod uh, modulus plus and then a modulus again uh, let's forget the modulo part uh, for a second because that's in order to avoid the overflow condition of integer range uh, let's assume the new number equals to new number into 2 plus 1 how is this working uh, let's uh, take the binary representation that we intended to uh, gen uh, through which we intended to generate a new decimal number and let's let me just iterate through uh, this case where new number equals to 0 initially so new num equals to 0 and we'll be at uh, the first index so this one this is what the no current number has so let's, let me just write it in a better way so this is the to this is the actual uh, representation that we are intended to calculate let's start with the iteration where i equals to 1 and the binary representation is 1 and a new num is 0 so new num is 0 uh, new num equals to new 0 into 2 plus 1 uh, that gives us new num becomes what is an updated value of new num new num becomes 1 now let's walk through the second iteration where i equals to 2 the binary representation is uh, something like this and what is the value of new num new num equals to new num into 2 uh, 1 into 2 plus 1 it becomes 3 uh, while we are iterating through over this index and then we have 0 uh, at 0 uh, again uh, new num new num equals to uh, 3 into 2 plus 0 so that gives us 6 pretty simple and uh, new numbers become 6 at this place new numbers are 6 when we have completed the iteration of i equals to 2 let's talk about i equals to 3 uh, and new numbers value is 6 new num is equal to 6 uh, binary representation of uh, uh, 3 is double 1 and let's start with uh, the first index this index so what you are going to do 6 into 2 plus 1 because that's 1 in nature this gives us 13 and if we do it again 13 into 2 plus 1 so that gives us 27 this is how we generate our answer uh, the modulo part is to just safeguard the overflow condition of integer maximum range and that's it hope i made this logic pretty clear to you if you want to write your own uh, integer to binary uh, conversion you can go for it uh, no uh, no uh, no foundations to use the inbuilt method but it's always easy to use the inbuilt methods thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it